Good day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Ah, heading to Monad Knox Shelter. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Monad Knox Shelter. We've got the bunk beds. These ones are just big enough for, say, two at the top two at the bottom so there's four we've got a bench going across joining the two lots up we'll probably fit another four or five people in there if you're friendly and on this side again we've got the bunks so you're looking around say the 12 or even a baker's dozen will fit in here nice and comfortable same as the other shelters you've got the brooms and the rakes so always clean up after yourselves so it's all nice and tidy from when others get here nice big picnic bench for you to use to cook your meals on eat your breakfast or sit around and have a chat and this is a view that you look over to it's not beautiful got a water tank on either side which is rain water tanks so only use what you actually need, don't waste it because it can be important to save somebody's life. And then we've got the steps going down to the fire pit. And another picnic bench there. And now let's go and have a look at all the tent pitches. Let's see what we've got here. So there's one sign for the tents. if no one else is here you could pitch your tent down there or in front of the shower so up higher I've been to this shelter a couple of times but I've only ever used this one tent pitch down here or I've slept in the shelter we've got a fairly decent one here oh don't fall down. That's probably big enough for two two-man tents or one comfortable with plenty of room around it. And next to that one we've got a smaller one here. This is the one I used. It's not so level now, looks like it's washed away a bit. And that was the view I had looking over there. Let's go and see if we can find some more. Oh trail going up here. Let's walk up and have a look. Now that's a nice one. I like that. Again you can squeeze two two-man tents on this pitch. Fairly level. Rocks down this end. Look at a tree above you giving the shade. Always remember to check. There's no widow makers. Mm -hmm. Fallen branches or branches that possibly may fall on you in the night. Let's go up to another one. Oh, there's two here, it looks like, side by side. <coughs> Excuse me. Fairly level, that's nice. Not so level, but still a decent size. That'd be a nice one if you're just going to throw a swag down there. Yeah, that's where we've just come from. So, there's another one up here. Fairly nice, but a branch sticking up there in the middle. So as long as you tent over to this one side, that shouldn't be a problem, that. And there's one behind the boulder there. A little, no, it just looks like the track. Let's have a look where that goes. So it just comes out to the back of the campsite. 
Ah, it takes us up to the dunny. Oh, there's another pitch there. A bit rocky in the middle. If you've got a small tent, you could squeeze that one in there without that rocky bit getting in your way. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, a dunny. If you haven't seen one of my videos before and you don't know what a dunny is, it's an outdoor toilet. Now these are drop toilets, composting. So you'll have to always remember, no dropping your wet wipes down here. Just your normal toilet tissue, anything that's biodegradable. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing a lot today. And ladies, when it's that time, the unfortunate part is you have to carry that out with you because they're not to be dropped down these toilets because it will ruin the composting. No chemicals should be used in these toilets uh, because any chemicals will destroy the composting again and you end up with all the flies and the maggots too. So if you're sitting on the loo, as I say, a loo with a view. Now let's lock this up. And always remember to put the seat down. We don't want any of the uh, animals falling down there, do we? Let's see where this track takes us. Yeah, the flies are terrible today. Walking out here, I've got to have my head net on. About 99.9% .9 of the time. That looks like that's all the pictures there is. Then six or seven, is it over there? Or is it eight? Not as many as the uh, Hewitt's shelter. I had loads that one did. Right, back down to the track where we came in. That's the way out of the shelter out of the campsite. Beautiful campsite. Gets cold here in winter in this one. <coughs> I had to put my tarp up across the front one year. Um, someone had turned up and they found it too cold to sleep comfortably. So I closed the actual shelter in a bit with the tarp which helped warm it up for her, stop the wind blowing in there and enabled her to have a decent night's sleep so it's always remember if you come into a place like this our oh boy scout saying be prepared I hope you found this video useful I've known what's here at the shelters and what to expect. Now this is a nice one, you can get to this in an easy two and a half hours if you walk fast or if you like I was today a little bit lazy, just took my time, sat down for a while, made some videos, it took me just over four hours. But that was coming over from Sullivan's Rock, we came over Mount Vincent, Mount Cosbert, that's the one I stopped at Mount Cosbert, beautiful views from there. And then and fairly easy walk to the shelter. Uh, most of it was uphill, it was just a gentle incline. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have and you haven't subscribed please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos then click the thumbs up the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.